Hello everyone, this is Casual Prince or Sam here. And welcome back to another episode of Recall. I really enjoyed the last episode and we're going to be carrying on with this. And first we got to find, well, equip a replacement part for Max. So let's go to the workbench. This is the workbench. Here, Jewel can research and equip new parts, change loadouts, and upgrade her core bots. Research the blueprint and replace Max's broken part with the new one. Frame type, select the K9 frame type. Four legs, okay. Oh, yeah. Now equip the part on Max's frame. Select Mac. Ooh, yeah. He looks awesome now. You have additional blueprints in your inventory. Gather the required materials and return to the workbench to research and equip these new parts. Keep your eyes open for more blueprints as you explore Far Eden. Okay, Mac. Ready to help me fix that terraforming pylon? No objective, Paradise Lost. How you doing, Mac? How'd you like your new red legs? Stash transfer. Each time your the each time the crawler is entered, the cores, shards, and loot in your inventory is automatically transferred to the crawler's stash. You can check your stash at any time by using the workbench. Okay, let's get out of here. Still a sandstorm though. But you know, let's exit it. Not sure how safe it is if there's a sandstorm. It might just be a couple of clouds going past, it might not be a sandstorm. So apparently now we've got to go and repair a terraforming pylon. No idea what that is, but you know, we're going to go find out. And also that rainbow core from um, last episode, I've been thinking about that. That's weird because so far we've seen red, we've seen blue. Next sector, Mac. Let's get going. Obviously Mac has a blue one. There is a yellow one on on the front of the um on the front of the case. I'm guessing we're gonna find about that later. Hi! Oh my god, that guy's got a shield. Go at it, Mac! Jesus! No, alright, no. Yeah, pull, pull, pull. Don't pull. No, 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 no. No. Oh, yes, we got it. Got it, Mac. Alright, so when it turns red, you got to not pull it. Awesome. And remember how Ooh. I'll have to initiate the manual override since our hunk of junk is buried in the sand. Whoa, okay. So we are not able to go in that. That is hurting us. What is that over there? What is that? Can we do anything with this? No. Okay. Oh, it did do something. Awesome. I knew it was going to do something because it seemed too out of place. And we're in. Yes, we are, Jewel. 
Okay, going to a new area it seems. So remember how, ooh, Lonely Basin. Remember how we were just editing Mac? I'm guessing we're gonna get more core bot companions as we go on. And I think that that rainbow core is gonna have some significance. It has to do because it's a very weird core. Like, as Jewel said, all the colours are mixed up together and she'd never seen a core like that. So... Host this planet with an Earth-like atmosphere. It wasn't perfect, but it sure had potential. Clearly it did, Adams. Whoa, hello. I hate these ones with a uh, shield. No, no. Right, no, oh no, I didn't have any chance of that. Whoa, there's one with a yellow core over there. Stay alert, Max. More bots in this sector. I wanna oh I'm on fire, I'm on fire! <laughs> Got you. I wanna try and extract a uh, this one. Yellow core. Awesome. We've got some uh, some stuff here. Worn pistons. Canine pads, canine stabilizers, worn plating. Got ya. Okay. Oh no, sandstorm. Whoa. It's totally grounded. I know, Mac. Let's get to the pylon before that storm hits. Oh my god, yeah, Jesus. That is a big storm. Oh my god, that is a big storm. Alright. Huh! Yeah. Structures the pylon's control center. Or what's left of it anyway. Whoa. What do you want? Go away. What is that? I can't see very well. Whoa. Those are like dogs. They're like lions. Jesus! Oh god. No, no, okay. Oh no, no, one fire, one fire! Run! Who cares about extracting these guys? We, we need to kill them. Come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Got ya. No, okay, no, no, no. Pull, pull, pull. No, 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 no. Okay, come on. I'm getting the hang of this now. Ooh, rare extracted red core. Come on, Mac. Wait, so you... Okay, Jules just saying that those bots have been modified. They've been changed. Are those canine frames? They don't look like any I've ever seen. Where? All oh, these things? Yeah. Huh? Let's go all of these before we go inside. I told you there was going to be a sandstorm. Where are the other ones we saw? I think that's all of them. Okay, let's go. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, more of these little annoying things. I saw this. Watch this. Some sort of container. Ooh. 
basically Blue Fusion, 22 E-Turner, and loads of K9 stuff. Awesome. April 29th, 2052. It took me and Victor a week to reach the landing site for the supply vehicles. We had to route our crawler around a rockfall that wasn't on any of the surveys. But most of the core bots are in fine condition. And the Prime Core is safe, thank God. We'd never be able to terraform this planet without them. In 200 years, Far Eden will have blue skies, water, trees. It will be a paradise, like Earth before it does that. Victor will be overseeing construction of first stage facilities while I get the Prime Core online. If he and the other Core bots continue to perform as well as I designed them, I might not need to wake any of the other humans for this ship. Um, whoa, okay guys, um, I was deadly silent for that, but that guy mentioned that the, um, that the core bots were doing okay and the prime core was safe. Maybe the prime core that he's talking about is that weird rainbow core that we found in that cave. Yep, come on. Go, go, go. Wait for me, buddy. Yeah, I'm coming, Mac. Just go. Once the pylons were up and running, we figured it would take about 200 years to stabilize the environment. Of course, all bets were off. How do we get inside? Do we get inside this way? No? Or is it round here? Oh, of course. Oh god. I'm coming back. Yep, one more there. Come on. Oh. Wonder if I can use that core we found to give it some juice. Maybe. That is a nice looking core. Here you go. Yes. In awesome, we made it inside. I'm guessing we're gonna have to stay here while the uh, the storm does its thing. Because no way we're gonna be able to find a way back in that storm. Pylon 512. So that rainbow, rainbow, that rainbow core lad. That rainbow core, it looks like it's gonna be that prime core that Adam was talking about. Man, feels good to get out of that storm, huh, boy? Yes, it does. All right, let's find the pylon controls. All right, determine why pylon 512 is offline. Another transfer plate, just like the one in our crawler. Let's check it out. Okay. Huh. Looks like there's something stuck in the memory buffer. Whoa. <laughs> I'm a human. My name is Jewel. What's your name? Violet. Violet? V10LT? Oh, you're the one locking down the transfer plates. But why? The revolution? Okay. Yeah, watch the revolution. Violet might be missing a few bolts, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, maybe. 
I don't hear any call on um, Violet. Maybe it's that thing in her head. A purple call? She has a purple eye. I'm just assuming that it's a girl because Violet is kind of a girl's name. We all suspected we'd find a lot more on the ground. Well, I'm not sure if bots really have genders. I don't know. We'll just call it an it for now. It's not be stereotypical. Wait, hold on. I just want to check something. No, get off. Okay, yeah. Didn't cause a very big explosion, but up there, the pylon controls. Come on, Mac. Ah, pylon controls. Can't get up there like that. Oh no, more of these guys. No, no, no. Okay, come on. Yeah! I'm getting good at that now. Ooh. Some sort of controls that we got blast up there. Come on. No. Yeah! Maybe a charge shot? No, it's not working. Eh. Maybe it'll reboot once the uh, pylon is rebooted. Whoa. That is a weird looking call. It's like a teal core. Like a turquoisey core. Maybe they use special ones to power pylons. Ooh. Huh. I guess one of these cores isn't enough. We'll need more to reboot the pylon. Ah, oh, so we need to find. I'm not thinking we're going to need to find more of those rainbow cores. I think more of those cores. Oh, it does say find more mysterious cores to fix the py pylon. I thought that um, the rainbow core was going to be the, uh, what's it called? The prime core that Adam spoke about. Oh look, this door has some sort of color coded lock on it. What is it for? Where is it, Mac? Aha. Ooh, good job, Mac. Let's open up for this, see what we got. Ooh, one rifle red affinity upgrade. Ooh, a red ammunition amplifier. Hmm, maybe it'll help with that door. Oh, so we got white ammunition, then we got red ammunition. As you can see, the, uh, the thing on the gun is changing. Whoa, more of these guys. Switch your to red firing mode. Matching attack colors to the color of the target does more damage. Aha! Red charge shot! Jeez, that did so much damage. I can't see. I can't see because of the thing. Oh no, red affinity charge shot. Yep. Already tried it. Hiya! Ah, Jesus, no! Get at it, Matt! Matt! Mac! Come on, pull! Yeah, got you! 
Good boy, Mac. Look at that. One worn canine sensor. So now can we shoot? Aha! So now we can shoot them. Guess that's what those uh, things in the other room were. Very shiny crystals. Whoa! You okay, buddy? Yeah, shake it off. Whoa. There's the core. I just have to unlock Whoa, there's another one. That's weird. I didn't think there was going to be another one. But it's missing all of its power cells. Wonderful. Well, there's one here. So I know where you belong, little fella. Follow me. Just looking for more. All right, get over here, buddy. All right, so you go in there. I'm just looking for any others. Oh god, there's more of these guys. Jeez, there's a lot of them. Ow! No waggle. Ah, Mac, help me. No, no. Okay. Yeah, got you. You okay, Mac? You doing okay? Oh, no. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Let's extract this as well. Right, let it go back in. Come on. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, let's try and find these other power cells. More of these little crystals. Ah, another one. Whoa. What are those? Bring your corbites. They ought to help me get to the other side. Ah, I'm, I'm gonna guess that you go through them and they boost you. No, come on. Oh, come on. Yeah. Look at those crystals. And another chest. Open this up. Open up. Just kick it. <laughs> On blueprint for white bare bones for canine hind legs. Okay. Whoa. So now we're back here. And get here. We need to open this. Oh, we got two now. So you guys go in here. So that's three down, three to go. Okay, guys, I'm actually going to end this episode here. Hold on. Okay. Just seeing if I could grapple that. Yeah, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this episode. I really do appreciate it. And I would also appreciate it if you would go down there and like the video and comment that you liked it as well. And if you're new around here, go to my channel and subscribe for daily gaming videos. So... Now we've got red ammo. I think later on we're going to get red and yellow ammo, I think. I think they're what the other two missing ammos are.
Yo, thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye, guys.